Much needed help today for those experiencing homelessness out in the East County after weeks of a growing encampment in unincorporated El Cajon. Several county agencies teamed up to provide them with some important services. Yeah, they helped them with everything from hotel vouchers to getting jobs and even court case help. CBS 8's Heather Hope caught up with one woman who now has a place to stay. Well, in direct response to growing homeless encampments in unincorporated El Cajon, local leaders put together this East County Homeless Resource Fair to serve as a one-stop shop for those unsheltered to get the help they need. We've had a steady flow since this morning of people coming through getting the help they need. Taking advantage of each booth and tent set up outside the East County Transitional Living Center on East Main Street in El Cajon. I'm getting my life in order. Selena Marquez says she was homeless until the Christian Fellowship of El Cajon offered her a place to stay. Now the Center for Employment Opportunities is helping her. I worked out a couple of things for jobs, you know, because I, I do want to be employed. Just this week, county cleanup crews picked up trash near a growing homeless encampment along North Magnolia Avenue near the Greenfield Drive Bridge, where dozens of tents line the streets and nearby businesses have said they're fed up with the issue. We have to let the process work, right? Can't go in there and arrest all these folks, uh, no matter how angry those business folks are. The encampment falls in San Diego County Supervisor Joel Anderson's district. He teamed with multiple local agencies to put on the East County Homeless Resource Fair, where hygiene kits and water were handed out. When we have services like this set up, we can go there, offer them services, give them hotel vouchers, get them off the streets, and put their lives back on track. Inside one room, the DA's office and the DMV helped more than 60 people. This is our um, pop-up homeless court. So we have representatives from the city attorney's office, the district attorney's office, and our public defender's office to clear any sort of minor infractions that may be prohibiting folks from getting their ID card. Getting past the typical legal roadblocks, experts in their field help those in need for free. If you can imagine a person having to go to each one of these offices to get every single thing clear to get their ID card, which they need to get maybe food stamps, you know, CalFresh or Medi-Cal services. Much needed help that Selena Marquez says she's grateful for. I was able to talk to the child support people and um, they're going to lift my suspension off my license. So if you missed today's resource fair, the East County Transitional Living Center says its doors are always open to give help and services to those in need. Also, the district attorney's office is planning to do another fair like this to offer its services to those in the North County. Heather Hope, CBS 8.